Nelly the Narwhal by Sarah Cullen and Carmen Ellis. Nelly the Narwhal, alone in the sea, wanted to play, and how hard could that be? She thought to herself, I will go find my friends, go on an adventure, and see where it ends. So off she went and found Harper the whale, who was playing by splashing and slapping her tail. That looks like fun, Nelly said happily. I love that game, won't you play it with me? Sorry, said Harper. She squinted her eyes. This game's not for you, a girl of your size. Poor little Nelly, she swam far away. She went off to find someone else who would play. As she swam on, she found her friend Bill, an octopus, showing his juggling skill. Oh wow! Amazing! May I juggle too? I'm sorry Nelly, this isn't for you. You're a nice narwhal, I do think you're great, but you have no arms, and you see, I have eight. Poor little Nelly, she swam far away. She went off to find someone else who would play. Poor little Nell, things were looking so bleak. Then she saw Tommy, he played hide and seek. I love that game because it's so fun. Ready or not, Tommy, here I come. It's so nice to see you. Hello, little Nell. But to play hide and seek, you'll need a nice shell. Poor little Nelly, she swam far away, for none of her friends would let bored Nelly play. Sad Nelly gave up and went straight to bed. Then a new thought popped right into her head. Her friends had said no for her size and her features, but she'd found a way to have fun with those creatures. So off she swam and found Harper the whale, who was still playing and slapping her tail. Hello dear Harper, I know that I'm small, but we don't need to play on our own after all. You see I can splash and can slap my tail too. Our size doesn't matter, can't you see it's true? The whale said, why yes Nelly, now I can see. And they both splashed around and they giggled loudly. She spotted some tentacles from far away. Oh, there's Bill the Octopus. I hope he'll play. I've thought of a way to get out of this pickle. You have eight arms and I do love a tickle. Why, yes, young Nelly. Her tickle sounds great. Your game sounds like so much fun. I cannot wait. So they tickled and tickled till they ran out of puff, then fell down exhausted. They both had enough. A green figure flashed past in front of her eyes. It was Tommy Turtle. Oh, what a surprise. Oh, hello there, Tommy. Please don't run away. I've thought of a game you and I can both play. You see this seaweed I've tied in a loop? You can throw it onto my tusk like a hoop. Wow, what a great game, he said with glee. I'm so glad you returned to play it with me. Why don't we invite all our friends to come? Then we can play with everyone. So they gathered their friends from everywhere and thought of some games that they all could share. Nelly and all her friends could now see. It's all right when you do things differently. She was so happy she found friends to play and they all shouted out, hip hip hooray! The end. We hope that you loved Nelly the Narwhal by Sarah Cullen and Carmen Ellis. Buy the book and read along. Available on Amazon.com. Inside, you'll find some exciting ocean trivia.